I got the lighting put in on the whaler and I'm um, pretty pleased with it. There's the stern light. And of course uh, we've got the panel controlling everything. And uh, here's the bow light which came out uh, better than expected. Keep watching and you'll see how I got the lighting installed. If you find this helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So the next step in the electrical is gonna be uh, running the wiring for the bow light and the stern light. And um, we need to drill a few holes to do that. So let me go ahead and get that done. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill in here uh, horizontally to this access hole, open up this access hole a little bit and um, make sure we got a clear path for the wire and I'll do the same in the back. So I've got red and black primary wire, 16 gauge, uh, marine grade. That uh, means uh, it's stranded and it's tinned. And I'm going to go ahead and run this um, up through the bow. The hole we drilled. Now if I learned one thing is, I'd rather have too much and not enough. I've got this one taped with yellow. Let's see if I can get it through there. This hole might be a tad tight. We'll find out. Now it went through. And um, all right. So we've got the wiring from the bow running all the way back and we've got the stern wiring the anchor light wiring in there as well and uh, it's all uh, running through this right here so now it's just a matter of terminating the ends before I do that though well I want to terminate the uh, the stern light then we'll get the uh, the uh, black strip onto the uh, rubber rail then we'll do the bow light so the anchor light is going to be a little bit more challenging. I've got this little device right here. Um, we're going to drill a hole big enough to accept this. Uh, then we're going to try to intercept that hole through the outside. Uh, let me show you exactly what, how I'm going to do this. So the way I'm doing the stern light is so that you can disconnect it. Uh, the original um, way they did the uh, did the anchor lights was with a terminal block and with a screwdriver. Uh, I'm going to do it so that uh, we can just plug it in and out, uh, seal it up if you're not using it, and um, it's going to go right in here. But what that does mean is I got to gouge a big huge hole in there um, for about an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, hopefully I won't make too huge of a mess out of this. believe this should be big enough we're gonna put this right here you can see that and now the fun part is to um, Get a hole to intersect that. I don't think that'll be too much of a problem. We'll see. Again, I'm going to angle this down. So I've got a little bit of piece of wire here to use as a drag. And uh, let's tape it up again. Give it one more shot. All 
All right, one last time. Wire comes out. This fits snugly in there. And I've got these uh, countersink screws. I'll show you what that looks like from the other side. So that'll be set in there with some silicone. Um, there'll be four screws holding it in. And uh, that way I can connect and disconnect the stern light. So let's get this sealed up. I'll put a dab of silicone around it. I just want to make it waterproof, make sure water don't get into the foam. Very unlikely it would here, but why take a chance? So anyway, thanks to my uh, friend Tom Steiger who uh, sent me these. Uh, he's a fellow restorer of Boston Whalers. Shaving Boat Works on Facebook. He um, he ordered these and used them on, on his boat and uh, sent me the extras. So I appreciate that. All right, the next step is going to be to solder the uh, real light connectors. Now I'm going to stagger these a little bit. The reason for that is so that they don't take up too much, too much bulkiness. So I ended up making some modifications to the stern light as well as the uh, bow light. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, show you what the modifications were that I did to the stern light. So the other light I got to modify is going to be this uh, this pole. Um, it's Perco. It's not a stainless uh, OEM style. Um, I've already taken the screw out of here, and I'm going to be putting um, attaching a cable to the bottom of it by removing this and um, which will plug into the uh, the bulkhead adapter that we uh, that we put in the boat. Let me show you how I'm so going to do that. So getting that bottom piece off of the uh, light was a bit of a challenge. I, first I tried squeezing it off, that didn't work. Uh, then I used the file trying to cut it off. Uh, that didn't work neither. After that, screwdriver pried off. Finally I resorted to a chisel and a hammer. Alright, now that we've got the ends exposed, the next step is to connect one end of this cable. The other side is going to be cut. That's going to be the side that's connected. But you've got to be careful because if you notice, the polarity is reversed. So the easiest way to figure out which side you want and don't want to cut is to take the uh, socket that it goes to and see how it fits and make sure that you're going to have red to red that is positive to positive so I'm immediately going to go to the other side and cut it I don't want to make any mistakes because I don't want to have to order another one of these red to red that's the side we want and there we can dispose of that we'll have to split this open and strip it. What I ended up doing here was of course stripping the ends. Uh, you'll notice there's a hemostat holding those wires because there's not a lot of spare wire inside of that tube. But uh, what I'm doing is crimping and, and soldering. I'm actually doing both. So I uh, took butt connectors, uh, cut the plastic off of it, crimped it on, soldered it, then put some heat shrink over it. The next step was going to be get those wires into the tube and seal it up. What I'm doing here is just protecting the tube with a little bit of masking tape and sealing up the end of the tube with uh, Farron compound. Probably about an inch and a half of it, but it sealed up the tube pretty well and you'll see how it came out in a few seconds here. Well, I've got the uh, pole finished. I kind of jumped the gun and uh, 
took it off, unwrapped the tape, but uh, cleaned up the excess, and it looks pretty good. Let me see if I can give you a close-up here. That's the end of it. Um, you can see the fairing compound seals it off quite nicely. It's not a stainless steel OEM one, and I'm really not too concerned about this. I'll rarely use it, but uh, this is what I really like about using these 12-volt cords. Uh, it fits nicely in the uh, socket for the uh, light. And again, I'll, hard, I'll rarely be using these lights. I don't go out at, light, at night that much. Um, the local lakes do have some good fishing. So the cord goes through it quite nicely. So when you need it, you can put it on. I'll probably have it stowed away most of the time. And... Um, This plugs right in. It can only go in one way, the correct way. So let me show you what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like when it's turned on, just to make sure everything works. And there you go. We know that light works. And now that that's done, let's go on to the bow light. Get that installed and um, show you what mods I did to that. Well, I'm going to get the lighting together now. Got the console in, um, all the wiring is in for the lighting. So now it's a matter of uh, just getting this stuff in and uh, installed, wired up. This is not, this is a replica, so it's not an original, and I'm um, not too happy with the fact that it doesn't have a bottom plate. So I'm going to have to go buy some stainless washers. But I'm going to start by marking out where I need to drill holes. And what I did is I centered it, so that is centered. What I did for the bottom of the uh, mounting screws and washers is uh, put butyl tape in there. Um, this area is bound to get a lot of water splashed up on it. And uh, what I noticed when I was rebuilding this whole area is... There was just a lot of foam washed out. There was a lot of delamination. So the better we protect it from water intrusion, uh, the better off it'll be. You help me? All right. And I'm just putting it all together so that uh, we won't lose uh, any pieces. But um, all right, so it's together. Once I get the uh, replacement bulb and seat in, um, I'll go ahead and wire that in. It'll be permanent, and we'll be able to swap bulbs if we want to. If I can find glass replacements for those two, I will. I don't like those too much. Say hi. That's my granddaughter, Bella. She's my helper today. <laughs> All right, so here's the uh, inexpensive, I'm not going to say cheap because it certainly wasn't cheap, um, bow light. It's obviously not OEM. It's a, it's a knockoff, but uh, that's all right. I wasn't too happy with the bulb. Here's why. So here's a quick demonstration of why I... Uh, Decided to change the uh, fitting in the bulb. Here's the bulb that came with the uh, with the bow light. Here's the one I'm replacing it with, and it's actually got a T10 socket on it. And the bulb itself is a T10, really short base. Hard to find that though. But um, let me uh, make sure this doesn't short out. But you can see the difference here. Here's the uh, stock bow light, and then here's the one I'm going to put in here. I actually let this. Uh, run for about five minutes and I checked it didn't get hot at all so I'm not at all worried about uh, about it melting anything um, especially those cheap plastic lenses that came with it so there you go uh, this is the one that's going in the bow light it'll have plenty of visibility that's uh, one thing I'm sure of This is one of the original fittings 
that was in there and I started to take it out so I could measure the uh, hole but it's, uh, it's in there pretty good almost press fit it uh, out with that this should fit right in there so that was perfect uh, it's a half inch uh, the socket for this bulb is also a half inch OD and um, this gives me the capability to change bulbs out in the future if I have to as well let me push that all the way in there it's actually got a ridge it's almost like it was made for this all right so let me just demonstrate that the bulb should pop in and out now now this will sit in there we'll get those wires soldered together Test the bow light, and we know that one works. And last but not least, I put two courtesy lights in. Uh, most of the wiring will be hidden when we get the seat in. It'll just be maybe uh, eight inches of wire. And uh, here's the courtesy, li courtesy lights, and you can see that those guys work. And I put a horn in too. If you've enjoyed this video on putting in the lighting on the whaler, hit share, like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.